What is going on YouTube and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft series and today we are building our first ever house. Uh, off camera did a lot of uh, wood cutting, got a lot of wood as you can see, found some spruce logs, went across the ocean over there, uh, keep going in this direction, kind of past the... Uh, the, the glaciers that we have in the, in the distance, we have a little island that had all, all, had all spruce, so I was able to get a lot of there. Um, I found, actually, when I was going down that way then as well, because I went from there and went cut across, I found a, an abandoned ship, and I found these two uh, pieces of armor. So the Curse of Vanishing and Thorns 1. So that was pretty cool, figured I'd let you guys know that. We've filled up this with pretty much nothing. Um, and we have all our wood and like coal, mine, you know, mi mining stuff, so cobblestone, um, iron ore. Got some smooth stone in here for the bridge that we're gonna build as well after the house is done. These cats need to stop. Yeah, geez. Um, but today we are building the house. I didn't want to do too much off camera. I wanted to be able to get prepared for this though, and, um, I'm starting to really run out of food. Uh, I'm... On my last piece of bread, I'm going to start getting some potatoes. And I wanted to build the house before I build the farm. So, without further ado, we are going to start. I'm going to bring the crafting table with me. Just so we're not kind of running back and forth. And uh, as you guys can see, I definitely shaped off this land a little bit. Um, figured the house would sit on this plot over here. And then we would have like stairs going down over here and a little path and this would be where the farm is. Uh, I may want to extend this a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? This may be enough room. Uh, I want to start off with a deck. That is what I want to start off with. So I have my 30 oak planks. I uh, forgot though, I wanted to bring some wheat so I can move the cows over so they're not getting in the way. I am terrible at building if you guys have seen any of my previous videos of Minecraft where I have to build anything. I am awful at it. So, with that, with that being said, let me, let me grab that smooth stone. And I want to throw these potatoes in there for a baked potato. Just so it's, you know, better food for when I start getting hungry. Uh, I didn't want to start killing these cows because I didn't want to start mating them yet. And I didn't want to start mating them until, you know, we have the house. So here I have the wheat. I'm going to bring them all over here to get me out of, get them out of my way. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. Grab the wheat. Let's go. While they're here, I might as well just use all the wheat real quick and have the meat. And just kind of start that process a little bit. But we're going to build the house now. And like I said, we're going to start with a deck. So I'm going to take the crafting table. I'm going to put it down. Just bear with me because, I, like I said, I'm terrible at building. Uh, I'm going to take some, some of these oak planks. I don't need all of them. This one enough where I can do that. And we're going to build some stairs. There we go. So I'm going to center the stairs with where the door is going to be. I'm going to do that. And now the rest is going to be oak planks. In my design, I have in my head, I'm going to go five on each side after the stairs. So one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I go one, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to leave myself some room. Yeah, okay. And I have a feeling we're just going to have like stairs in our house that will just go down. Because we're getting pretty close to that edge. But this is going to be the deck we come to. Kind of gives it a little something. In my last Let's Play, we had a lot of flat surfaces. We really didn't do much with um, different elevations, and I wanted to change that in this series. So we have a deck to come up right away. I have, <clears throat> sorry, I have some spruce fence. It's gonna go around it, and 
I like the contrast between the oak planks and the spruce. Absolutely love that. All right, so that's we got the deck right off the bat. Boom. Now we have to build our actual frame and house, and that is going to be done with these spruce logs. I'm going to use the unfilled, not unfilled, unmaxed stack first. So we're going to start right here, like that. And I'm going to build this up one, two, three, four, five from the deck, not five in total. Five from the deck. And I'm going to then go across two, three, four, and this will be the fifth one. I build in fives. If you guys remember from the last uh, Let's Play, the rule of fives is a great building technique. Everything turns out really, really nice when you build in fives. So. That's one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna take some damage, it's okay. So two, three, four, and five. That's gonna go up. And then this is going to be our doorway, right in line with the stairwell. So let's do that. Okay, now for the door frame, we're gonna do the same thing. Two, three, four, and five. We're going to connect the two like that. Drop down, take some damage, to go up, matching that, bring it across, bring it across, and then one, two, that's where the door is gonna be. We're gonna put that like that. So that's essentially going to be the begin, uh, the front of our house. And now what I want to do with this is I don't want to leave it as the bark. I'm gonna be chipping away and getting rid of the bark so it's more of like a smooth, uh, Smooth look, one may say. Um, I'm gonna just kind of continue out and build the frame, and I will let I will I will be back once the whole frame of the house is done. It's really kind of pointless watching me do everything. I'm going to show you guys everything when it's complete. I'll tell you the dimensions on if you wanted to copy this build, but I don't want to just be doing this all on camera. So I will return when the whole frame of the house is complete. And we return. The frame of the house is complete. Uh, the slope was a little tricky. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, it may feel bad. It may feel better about it once we have the floor in. But I originally had it where it was kind of like double logged on th at this point. Um, it didn't really look good because when the floor everything matches, then when because when the floor is this is going to be a level up with the floor. So you're going to be pretty much level with the log, and then over here you'd be one up on the log. So I cut it. Maybe it's going to look better once we fill in the walls. I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, the cows are driving me nuts, but this is pretty much it. So we, you saw the front. I brought it out. The five here, up. Then another five, up. Uh, and then I turned it here, five and up. Here I did the five and then up and you know, so like the other side, but I just kept this one extending all the way through. This one is, there's no five in between and there's just gonna be one giant uh, 10. But everything else is, you know, you build your layer, one, two, three, up. So, cause it's ends one, two, three, four, five. So you have three non pillars and then two pillars on each end. So like I said, pillar, three, pillar. And that is how you build it. It comes out really nice. Um, I'm going to now eat a baked potato because I'm starting to get a little hungry. But we're going to put in the flooring and we're going to need a lot more oak planks. It's definitely not going to be enough. Might as well just use a whole batch. Uh, let's start with the four or not. The game doesn't want me to switch out. But we'll start. We're going to use oak planks as the flooring for this. And hopefully once I put the floor in, that whole slope area is going to look a little bit better. And I really hope it will. So this is what I meant. See how you're gonna be in line here? If I kept this across, once we start building the floor over here, it wouldn't be in line anymore. Uh, I think that's gonna work out because it does. it's not as noticeable with the actual oak planks. And now the game gives me the floor. Let's just continue filling this in. And we're going to have to create a pen for these cows real soon because they are driving me off the wall. 
I keep bringing out wheat to move them away, and they just keep coming back as if they want to just live in this house. Alright, let's get that floor in. Perfect. So now let's grab our stairs. Thinking maybe do stairs the entire way through. I think that would look the best, wouldn't you think? Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's make the stairs. I could actually bring the crafting table inside the house at this point, or at least closer to the house. Let's put it right here for now. And let's make a few more stairs. That's gonna be six total. How much do I need? Do I just have enough? Perfect. That works really well. All right, so it's becoming nighttime. I will go to sleep real quick just because I don't want to deal with anything at night. And I'll be back. All right, let us start on the walls real quick because all the cows are out and let's get them out of here. So we're going to take oak planks. We're going to put them like this on all the sides, just like so. One of these will we're gonna be removing some of these real quick I just wanted to get that around before the cows can come back in we're gonna have a double door like that perfect now I know what you're thinking I said I was going to shave off the bark and that's gonna be coming yeah can't you oh, wait you know what he can actually jump in that I just realized they still can get in um, this is going to look weird though with how I have this so what you're gonna do is you're going to put the planks on the top of these holes as well. Just like this. And these are essentially, if you haven't figured this out already, going to be windows. Now these are going to... This is going to have to come down because this is a little bit lower level. To stay even with the rest of the house, these pillars are actually taller. So... To keep everything uniform, I could have planks going across here, but then you really wouldn't see the window as much. Um, so maybe, maybe for this one specifically, and then I for this I can put bring down any more planks like that. Uh, yeah, you know what? That kind of works. Do the same here then, do the double. So everything's kind of, you know, you know, the windows go down just like the stairs, you know, that the house goes down. So that kind of works. And for this, what we what do we do? We just kept it uniform like that since it's pretty much you're looking out the window and you're looking out the window, it's still that still works. So I hope that baby got out of here in time. <laughs> Let's take our glass and let's make some glass panes and I actually don't remember how to make those so it's just like that I right, perfect let's take all of our glass like that make some glass panes we have so much but we will have a lot of building we have a lot of building to do and we can always come back and use these glass panes they will never go to waste oh forgot Right there. So I'm gonna put a window here, just like that. We're gonna go up in here, make a window there. Grab more panes. If you guys didn't know, if you guys just saw what I did, if you guys look at a block and it's not on your hot bar, so say these glass panes are no, I'm not my inventory. If you press your middle mouse while looking, while well, while it's highlighted, so I like I couldn't click it when I'm, you know, the black borderline. You see these black borderlines? Maybe hard to see, but you, if you guys play Minecraft, you'll know what I'm talking about. When your crosshairs over a block, it, it kind of gets outlined in black a little bit. So once you're once you're outlined in black, if you press middle mouse, it automatically comes into your your hot bar for you to use. So you don't have to go digging and looking for it. Just a quick little tip. But if you're far away, like, I wouldn't be able to click my middle mouse and get, like, spruce wood from there. I'd have to come close to it. Okay, now this one is going to be the other doorway. So we're going to bounce that out. I'm going to quickly put a door, actually, here so this guy doesn't... No, 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 no. Oh, he came in. No, no, come here. Get out of the house. 
Out of the house. Out of the house. Okay. Do that real quick. Let's grab our other door. Put it right like that. Perfect. Uh, maybe a nice little window above that, too, to kind of keep it in line with uh, that. And we're going to fill this in now with glass panes as well as like a big back window overlooking the water. It would have been nice if the sunset came out in here. But this is the house. We're not going to have an upstairs, but what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the rest of of this. I don't think I'm going to need that many slabs. Let's start off with that. I don't want to waste too much here. And we're going to fill in the ceiling with the oak slabs. Uh, before we go ahead and do that though, what we're going to do is we're going to shave off the bark, like I said. So what you do is with an axe, it's going to go up to it and you're going to right click it. And you can see it kind of gives it more of a smoother texture. Uh, so I will return when all the bark is shaven down. And here is the finished result. I actually, over here, when doing this, got rid of that piece just because it looked weird with that just one strip log really kind of just being there. So I just replaced it with oak plank. So now I have two strip spruce logs in my inventory. They won't go to waste. We'll just turn them into planks. Simple as that. Uh, so now the ceiling and then the roof. Now I am terrible at ceilings, first of all. We're gonna just throw that out. I'm throw that out right there. Uh, roofs and ceilings I'm just bad at. Um, ceilings are a little bit easier, as you can see I already messed up. Um, just because it's kind of a straight. Why is that? Come on. Thank you. It's kind of just a uh, straight run like this. Uh, roofs though I am horrible. I never know what looks good. I always overthink the roof and it's just a bad time. And of course, as soon as I get back to you guys, it becomes nighttime. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work through the night just because we're kind of in our house, but we definitely need some torches. So let's grab a bunch. I had already had a few, but I wanted to make some more. Let's light this area up inside so we got we'll put two torches there we're gonna put a torch there there just kind of on every beam at this point just like that and then over here we can have two just like that um maybe bring this down just so it kind of fits with the whole everything yep that works no one will be spawning in here we're going to need more uh, planks, I mean uh, slabs, definitely was not enough before. So let's just continue, try not to mess up, but let's continue putting in our ceiling. And the roof, I don't really want to go for a tall, slopey roof on this one. Uh, I just want a, a subtle, slow rise type of roof so we're going to be using slabs for the roof not stairs because stairs have way more of an incline which i just said i did not want um i may have to go on top of the roof at this point though to finish this so let's grab spruce logs this building's gonna be so much easier once we obtain um some bamboo and we can make Scaffolding. Scaffolding is phenomenal. Uh, if you guys watched the other series, scaffolding saved my life when building the giant lighthouse. Probably the most, the biggest build I've ever done in my life in Minecraft, in survival that is. And I ran out of slabs again. I'm gonna come down. Might as well bring this down. I'm gonna need it to go back right back up. This is why I say I'm terrible at building videos and I apologize. I'm always so unprepared. Never know what I want to fully do. Uh, let's grab another, how much you think? 18? 18 should suffice, right? I hope. If I have to come back down, I'm gonna be really upset. Let's close my door, just so, just in case. All right. I really hope 18's enough. I looked at this really quick. Ooh. 
Is it just going to be enough? Oh, and it is. Perfect. We have two to spare. All right, so we have the spruce slabs already. I'm going to put those in my inventory. I'm going to take this like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this right here and kind of have like a, kind of like an overhang type of thing. So I'm going to do that and this. I think that's going to work out. And we'll do that. Kind of just connect it like this. Now for the next one, we're going to use a plank so it you know, continues going up. But maybe use a slab. How does that look? How does that look? Kind of has the underneath? Yeah, you know what? That works, actually. These will just be slabs. These I can use the planks because we're going to fill this in anyway. It's not going to, like, be used for, uh, like, an attic. So that kind of works. A slab. Boom. See how it's like a slow increase? It's not like stairs where it's just straight up going up fast. It's a big incline. So we're going to do the same on this side. Grab this. And grab it like that. We need more planks, which I have right here. Let's move the spruce over. Alright, so let's go up and up. We'll grab the planks. I'm just going to do this first. That. So that would be the top. It looks like we're going to have... Like, just like that. That looks nice, actually. I that, that came out a lot better than I was thinking it would be. Uh, let's finish off then this. We need this to come up like that like that and now I'll just make it come down 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 and down so that is the first steps and now we're just gonna repeat this all the way through so what I'm gonna do actually though is start on this side and work my way towards the middle just because of this right here it kinda makes things a little funny we got a bunch of creepers I swear to god if you blow up my house all this hard work so we're gonna, ow, we got some archers over here. So like I said, I'm running on my last potato here. Uh, we will be starting from this point just because when we get to the turn over here, it kind of gets a little tricky. So I'm going to start by doing this. Do the same like this. Kind of just border everything around. Like that, and I will return to you guys once the roof is complete. I'm gonna follow the same technique I did in the front over here in the back, and I will show you what I do, what I did on this turn. So uh, I will be back, and we are finishing up the roof right here with the final pieces. I'm going to show you to save wood. I actually left this hollow. Um, potentially could use this as maybe an attic at one point who knows um over here as well we would have to duck down it would be like a crawl space area but it's all lit up it's just so nothing could spawn i'm gonna fill that back in and we're gonna hop out real quick and we're gonna put the finishing touches just like that so we have the overhang just like in the front over here and when it gets to this point, the roofs kind of just coincide. So this this little piece will just always hang. And then it just kind of makes its own roof like that. So that's pretty much all you had to do. Uh, potentially, I don't know if that would look good if I extend this all the way. Would that look good if I did that? Would this be in the middle? So we have one, two, three, four, five right there, but then one, two, three, four now. So it's going to be off center. So we're going to leave it as the two like it is. And we are going to light up now. Before I jump down, we're going to light up the roof. Now you can't put torches on slabs. So what I'm going to do, because I don't really want spiders 
spawning up here. So I'm gonna put one there, put two right there, I should say. Some in the back like that. Put some in the front. Uh, come over here. Oh, you, maybe you can put torches on slabs. Didn't realize. Uh, hit this up. And really, just so we're kind of not getting anything spawning on the roof, because that would be a pain. So let's jump down, and now we have to light up the outside. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, didn't really want a steep roof, and I like the way that came out. We are going to light up the outside real quick. Do I need to get more coal? I don't think so. We have some sticks right here. Five. Let's get another five. We'll have 25 torches. I'm resorting to eating melon. So I do not have anything yet. So let's put it on all of the columns like we did inside. Just like this. Lighting up the area. I'll do two there to kind of match the whole theme of putting them on the top window. Like this. I'll do like two there. Boom. Boom. It sounds like there's a cave underneath our house. So we'll definitely have to hit this up and explore it. But this is it. I think it came out really nice. I'm happy about it. So now let's quickly... Before we forget, let us put in our crafting table down. Haven't figured out where I want to put any furniture yet, but I'll do that all off camera. Let's quickly make the stairs for right here so we can quickly come up. I'm going to do that. I think that looks a lot nicer. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot nicer. Come up, and boom, we have our. We're going to have a little pathway then. And this will be our farm area right here. So this is the house. And we are officially complete. Start a house. This is not going to be our forever home. As you guys know from the previous videos. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Turn on the notifications and subscribe. Um, new videos. Uh, I do my best to do daily. But uh, new videos pretty much every week. Uh, various games doesn't have to be minecraft but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching like i said hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications and until next time guys peace out